Come now, you have to do better than that. You're playing chess with a god. You really need to think if you want to win. Here, I'll let you redo that move. Try something a little more clever, won't you? It's not a trick. Look, I would have been able to capture you if that move had counted. You need to keep in mind that this is not normal chess. You're playing as one of the pieces, so you need to protect the king and yourself. Bold choice, choosing the knight, by the way. The safest option would have been to just take the place of your king. But I do appreciate that you didn't go the boring route. <laughs> yes, I do tend to make it hard on you when you make things boring, don't I? But that's your job, after all, to keep me entertained. Well, I'm sorry if you don't like chess, but sometimes I want to engage in something mentally stimulating. And besides, it's at least better than that little gladiator ring I'd set up for you, isn't it? I suppose we could just have you fight another monster, if that's what you really want. <laughs> Come now, that's hardly fair. I meant it when I said that my temple was a paradise. Would you really rather everything just be boring and safe all the time? Just think of it as earning your keep. It must be better than living in your little village when that drought was still happening. You never even run out of food or drink here. Now, redo your move, and really think a few steps ahead. You'll be grateful that you got the chance. Don't you want to win your little prize? Hmm. Better, but still not great. Ha <laughs> ha! No more queen. You've been far too aggressive with it the whole game. Oh, please. Such a little tantrum. I know that mortals can be spoiled sometimes, but surely you're above that. If you don't want to lose your pieces, then play better. Oh? Then what is this about? What's the matter with the prize? Do you not want all these sweets? The pile is practically the size of a mountain for you. And these are divine sweets, my little toy. You're not going to get a stomachache from eating too many. Ugh. We've already been over this silly thing. I'm not going to just make saving your village the reward for winning. That would cost me too much if I were to lose. Oh no, that's just sad. You think that you're going to goad me into it? Well, as it happens, yes, I am afraid of losing to you. I'm specifically choosing games that you have a chance of winning, because what would be the point otherwise? If the stakes were going to be that high, I'd choose something practically impossible for you to win. Like a race. Now, I told you from the beginning that it wouldn't be easy to convince me to let the rain clouds return. I'm not about to relinquish all the power that I gain from the constant clear skies just for you. Even though I do find you delightful. I know, life is just so unfair, isn't it? But don't let this stop you from trying. I do so enjoy your little pleas for aid. You're adorable when you're desperate. Perhaps if you can prove that you can make a game really interesting, 
I'll decide to offer up my help as a prize. You'll have to prove that you're clever enough for that, though. It's your move again. Impress me. Come now, no dawdling. You're not going to get anywhere just by begging me for help. Do you have any idea how often mortals ask me for favors? Stars are associated with fate, so I'm constantly being asked to line people up with their soulmate or save them from a terminal illness. And quite frankly, I'm tired of it. And at this point, it's all falling on deaf ears. Go ahead. Make your move. And make it count, won't you? I'd hate to... <sighs> that was the wrong move. Checkmate. No, there's not such point in a do-over. You were very close to losing no matter what you did. Looks like the sweets are all mine. It was an interesting game, though, in its own way. I certainly learned a bit about you from it. Mostly that you have some kind of inferiority complex. You clearly do not like being around me, because I have so much power over you. The way you played told me everything I needed to know. You played very aggressively, which is unusual for a novice. You tried very hard to project strength through every move. You want to feel like you're not hopelessly inferior to me. Quite interesting. Of course, it was also the reason that you lost. It's not the best strategy to constantly be on the offensive. If you're always trying to show your strength, then your opponent will always be on guard. You need to let them become confident and underestimate you. Well, let's hope that you learn from this for next time. Though, I'm not sure if I really want to go through all the trouble of training you to be a proper player. Perhaps we should just go for an easier game next. <laughs> oh no. Mortal, you speak as if you had a choice. If you wanted to be free, to make your own choices then you shouldn't have trespassed into the realm of the gods. You're really not very good at adapting to new situations, are you? Quite a shame, seeing as though you would have been much happier if you would just accept your new lot in life. Just forget about that village. What do you really owe them anyway? You're the favored plaything of a god now. You're not obligated to do anything for them. Mortals live such short lives anyway. They would all be dead before long no matter what you did. Someday, you'll learn to indulge yourself more. I'm telling you, it's a much easier way to live. You should be worrying about yourself before anyone else. I used to be a little bit like you, so altruistic and caring about the needs of strangers. But eventually, you come to realize that whenever you give something of yourself to others, they only return part of it. And pretty soon, there will be nothing left of you. <sighs> Fine, then. Be stubborn. You'll wish that you'd listen to me one day, though. Well, if you're not going to relax and actually enjoy yourself, then what do you plan to do? How do you propose to convince me to willingly give up my advantage over the Cloud God? <laughs> Oh, interesting. Turning my words against me, are you? It's not the same situation, though. I don't have nearly as much to worry about by holding an advantage over my rival. You only need to pretend to be weak when you're up against a powerful opponent. 
He is no threat to me like this. Hmm. That's... Ah. Actually, not a terrible point. He could always seek help if he feels he truly needs it, the same way that I sought help from the Sun God. So, what are you saying? That it would be better to let him think that he can manage to beat me on his own to prevent him from gathering allies? And of course, to do that, I would need to pretend that I'm slipping, allowing some clouds to return to the sky. Well played. Very clever. Don't get me wrong, the idea has holes in it, but I'm impressed that you were able to twist my words around all the same. It's worth a little bit of thought, at the very least. The really tricky part about this is that I'm not working alone. I have the sun god on my side, remember? The question is, what would he think of it? He is much harder to read than you would expect. I'll commit to talking with him about it, though. And in the meantime, you've earned a reward. Oh, yes, of course. Above all else, I want you to entertain me. And that little speech was nothing if not amusing. I do hope that you can surprise me like that again. As your reward, well, let's just say you can have those sweets, even though you lost to me. Perhaps it was a bit unfair to play for stakes when you were so unpracticed anyway. Clearly your loss wasn't due to a lack of intelligence. Now I'll leave you to enjoy those while I get to work. I have an idea to make the stars really glimmer tonight. Oh, it will be spectacular. Take heart, little mortal. Even if your village won't be getting rain just yet, I'm sure the display tonight will distract them from their troubles. Consider it part of your reward, if you'd like. Good night, mortal. I hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Prince Cairo, and thank you all for listening to another one of my audios. Special thank you goes out to all my patrons, especially that of my precious pets. Mystic37, Creek, Vinwin, Toka, T. Briscoe, Michelle, Nikki Pele, Lunar, and Lindsay Travers. Thank you all so, so much for all that you do for me. Your support truly does mean the world to me, be you patron or not. If you're interested in following any of my socials, be sure to check out my link tree. It'll be in the pinned comment down below. Thank you all so, so much once again. I've been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mwah.